welcome to this video. In this video, I'd like to show how I import an AutoCAD file. And based on this theory, adopt a workshop drawing of a release plan. I've got myself a DVD here, placed on the desktop, which I want to load here with drag and drop. Now I get it this option here of how I want to load this file. I choose to load as a 2D construction here. Hikot is now reading upon me which layouts are present in the file. In this case, I only want to import the model. I have it now, model of the DWG imported, and you can see I have a portal in the view here, a horizontal section as well two vertical cuts and I want to show here how I use simple ways to do this. I can incorporate sheets and connection details into HiCut for my workshop planning. Therefore, I switch to the 2D telestructure and create three new parts here. Can do once. Done. And once a horizontal section, I have now created these three views and I can see from the symbol that Let's they are still empty. I activate the view and have the option here to activate these parts. Incorporate into this view of the cylinder. I draw a rectangle over it and now you can see by the icon that this view has been combined here. When I say just display active part, then I see that this view here has been merged. I do the same now with this, a vertical cut and with the horizontal cut. I can no longer use these here. Delete views. As well as the text that are present in these views. Here there is also the, the template which is in the AutoCAD file and I'm deleting it here as well. A way to work with it uh, more easily. When I now go to the overview, I see these three views that I can ideally use here. Now I am assigning men 3D view, a more meaningful name and, and with that to work better. You can also see that this front view of the 3D view also has a 2D part here. Now I'm starting and switching to the front view to begin with a sketch so I can transfer my three dimensional parts. I'm placing the plane on the screen level and I just want to simply take over the portal in a simple manner and just throw a rectangle around the portal. To illustrate this, I, uh, uh, I've unfortunately hit the wrong spot here. In this case, that is, this is actually that point. And here, that means this would be my outer edge of the portal, which I create here as a 3D part. I specify a thickness and a name for a better understanding. So now I have my 3D part here and uh, I also have the option here to define this view in my front view. So. I can lock this view here to see it better. Don't know, to make it easier to work with. I'll just turn the view and see. Here I have only my three dimensional part. That is my cuboid of the portal. From this view, I can now see that this view has been combined 
Nope, I'm creating my sectional views here. Just one more thing. A cross section I'm making here. And once a vertical section, which I also deliberately set aside, I can now proceed to move this view. This point of the portal is supposed to lie here. And now, of course, I want to resume from here in my second view. That means this is this view, it is one. Uh, oh to the great shot to, yeah. it's automatically renamed for me here and i'm moving this cross section into the second part of the cut i can lock this view again and have combined this view here again i am doing the same here moving this view here again to the right place and uh, again choose the name here to combine this again drag the vertical section into the 2d parts lock this view turn it briefly and thus this view is now combined as well what i do next I, I make sure to only work with the active view as it makes things much simpler for me. So I'm not in the wrong view. In this case, I can work with a sketch and then I can process and trace or redraw my sheet. In this case, I create a sheet, select my semi-finished product, in this case, it's a steel plate 3 mm thick because I defined the construction direction and with K, this part is created for me. Of course, I also want to make sure to have a main assembly in the construction, my individual parts. Uh, that is it. This should structure things. Contribute, and I need another one. It's delicious. Define. This is a portal, and a sheet metal goes in here. So I can update this view at any time. Of course, go to the preview and automatically see my sheet lying here. I want to create another view with the right click here to be able to present this better. Now, I could work here with the usual command. This view to the desired size. Define. Where is the guideline? Hit the spot that is up to here and can continue working here at any time. I also want to create a slot for processing right here. And splitting this operation here. From here down to here um, and indicate with relative return. Also, the starting point where I go back 25 millimeters here, I do the same here with this hole. The, the drum enclosure is now ready here. What I also do, I immediately assign the part orientation so it fits the workshop drawing afterwards. The sheet, of course, also appears on the other side, which means I take my editing layer and mirror this sheet to the other side and have it immediately at the second spot. Horizontal cut, update this, and then I see right away that I have this sheet here. Also, in on the second side, 
Now I switch to the vertical cut because in this case I still want to model the upper sheet and create another sketch here where I have this angle according to lines here you can see I can catch the dots just like usual and want to make a cover sheet out of this metal plate do it I specified the installation direction and with OK I have created this sheet in the construction when I look at the floor plan now you can see here that this is concrete is mandatory this means this cladding sheet naturally needs to be in this area for this I can easily create a create a sketch and have the option here to adopt this line sequence this polyline has been transferred to me here and I could use the usual functions here bring it into 3d as well I'll do the same on the second side adopting this line sequence here too and ski second wall is a 3d enhancer these naturally belong in my kit so I created these parts in 3d as you can see here very nicely of course I can when I press the shift key with the advanced dot options simply pull this wall up here to make it look a bit nicer and now of course I have the option to lay this sheet right in its place to size it up which means I want to place this sheet on this side and stream it to the desired length on this side and thus I easily brought this sheet into three dimensions here and of course here my preliminary view with the sheets with the connection points and also in the vertical cut with the further debricked this would be the same issue here with the screen connection or rather the floor connection certainly I think this is enough for the first step so you can see how to do this here quite easily of course these two deep views are now connected meaning if I pull one view the 2d and 3d parts are linked to get a 